All right, guys, moving on to another type of actions, we have the filter action. So what can happen here? That's anything that you are selecting in the source sheets, it's going to be relevant in the target sheets. That means in the target sheet, we will see only the data, only the informations that you have selected in the source sheets. So let's see how this works. We're going to stay with the same examples where we have one worksheet about the sales. It's going to be our source. And we have another worksheet about the profits. It's going to be our target. So let's start with the source. Let's go to the menu worksheets let's go to the actions and let's go and add a new action the first one gonna be the filter so let's go to the filter here we get again a new window in order to set up our filter action it's gonna be very similar to the previous ones but here we have a little bit more options so first we have to give it a name we're gonna call it filter profit insights and here as usual we have to define the source sheets it's gonna be the sales insights i don't want to have all sheets and then the trigger is gonna be let's say that's gonna be the select this time and then we have to define the target sheet it's gonna be our profit insights over here the filter so here in the filter actions we have more options about the interactivities we have to define for tableau what can happen once the users deselect the data once they clear the selections so here we have three options keep filter values show all values exclude all values the best way in order to understand this interactivity is to have an example so now we're going to stay with the default keep filtered values let's go and hit ok with that we got our new action over here let's hit ok again and try the action the best way in order to understand how this filter action works is to bring both of the worksheets in dashboards so let's go and create a new dashboard and let's go get the source and get the target as well below it i will just remove this legend over here so now let's go and start interacting with the report. So again here, once we select something from the source, it's going to affect the data on the targets. So for example, let's go and select, for example, those subcategories. So as you can see, my interaction with the source is going to have an effect on the target. Now we can see only the subcategories that I have selected in the source sheets. So with that, the user is going to get the feeling that everything is connected together, everything is interacting together, is alive. Anything I'm selecting in this worksheet, it has an effect in the next one. And here for this type of action, we mostly go with the select instead of the menu. It really makes sense to select something in this dashboard and to have immediate interactions in the next one. So as you can see, it's really easy, right? So now I want you to understand another type of interactivity. What can happen? once I deselect what I have selected or once I clear my selections so we have selected show filtered values so once I for example here click on the empty over here to deselect nothing gonna change so with that we have kept the filtered values and this is exactly what we have specified inside our action but now if you say you know what once I deselect stuff in the source I would like to have all the values as well deselected from the targets in order to do that we're gonna go back to our action and we're gonna go and edit our filter action so now if the users go and clear their selections or deselect we want to show all the values for the target sheets so let's switch it like this click ok again ok and let's try this so for example i'm gonna go and select only the storage and as you can see we got only the storage and once i clear my selections once i deselect anything in the source you can see we'll get all the values again in the target sheet in this scenario it makes more sense to use these options if i'm not selecting anything from a source nothing should be filtered in the targets so now let's go and check the last option let's go to the worksheets actions and to the filters let's go and exclude all values Let's select that and let's try what can happen now. So now at the start, nothing happened. We see all the data from both sheets. So now let's go and select, for example, those subcategories. As usual, we will get all data filtered in the target sheets. But now once I deselect, everything gonna disappear from the target sheets. So that means the target sheet will only show the data if I select something in the source sheets. So that means nothing here is relevant as long as I'm not selecting anything in the source sheets. And once I start selecting something, in the source sheets, the data gonna be shown. Otherwise, if I deselect it now, don't show anything. One more thing that I would like to show about the filter actions. If you go to the target sheets over here, you can see that we don't have any data and Tableau gonna indicate that there is an action that is filtering the data inside these worksheets. And you can see in the name of the filter, we have the word action. Tableau want to indicate that this filter is really depending on the actions from the users. So any value that is selected from the users, it's gonna impact this filter. So for example, if you go inside it and edit the filter, you can see nothing is selected and that's because 
in our interactions, we didn't select anything here in the dashboards. And once, for example, I select those values, you can go back to the target sheet and you can see those values as well selected in the worksheets. And if you go inside the filter, you can see those values are as well selected inside the filter. So anything that starts with the action in the filter, this comes from an action filter and the values inside it can be defined depending on the interactions that you have done. All right, so with that, we have covered everything for the filter actions in Tableau. Alright guys, now I would like to show you how to create a quick actions in Tableau using the dashboards. For example, let's say that we have the sales and the profits and they are disconnected. There is no actions between them, but now I can go and create a filter actions between them very quickly. If you go, to, for example, to the sales over here, you can find a small icon for the filter. It says use as a filter. So if you click on that, you can see now it's filled. And now if I'm clicking on anything, inside the sales as you can see the profits gonna be filtered and now if you go to the main menu to the dashboard to the actions you can see that tableau jet create automatically a new actions and it's usually has the name of generated so we have here filter one generated this one is created automatically or quickly as we clicked in this small icon over here on the dashboard and of course you can go over here and change the options if you don't want to have select you can move it to menu to hover and so on and of course you can do the same thing for the profit insights so let's go and close everything let's go to the profit insights and we can say okay the profit is going to filter as well the sales so let's go click on that and now let's deselect everything and anything that I'm selecting in the profits, it's going to as well filter the sales. So this is really nice and quick way in order to create actions in Tableau, but this is only for the type filter action. All right, so that's all for the action filters. Next, we're going to learn another type of actions. We have the highlights. 